Hello and welcome, this is Chad Lilly from the Safety Coach Academy. Today we're going to look at the soft skills that's needed in our, in our industry. So daily conversations, we need daily engagements and get out, to, out with people. And we have the soft skills and the hard skills. Now we know the hard skills, we do those day in day out. But then we got the soft skills and people shy away from these. So let's put this in a different context. Let's understand that soft skills are actually the hard skills and the hard skills are actually the soft skills because people are not sure how to go and engage with people or what to talk about and, the, and different elements of how to actually get that relationship going. So people tend to call them the soft skills so they can dismiss them and they can dismiss them as not having to do that. Are there any soft skills? But they dismiss them because they're actually hard. So what stops us doing it? What holds us back? Well, man's greatest fear is showing vulnerability. And that's what holds us back. We don't want to open ourselves up and show how vulnerable we are to have that conversation. But this is all about changing how we think. And the truth is, man's greatest fear is showing vulnerability. Yet man's greatest strength is showing vulnerability. So the more we can actually accept our vulnerability and actually show it, the easier it is actually to get engagement with other people the easier it is to actually show that we're human beings and we can break away from being the human doings. So we, if we put it in perspective as well with safety, we can actually start to look at things differently if we understand that 90% of the time we're actually working safely and 10% of the time we're at risk on average. That's an average score. Sometimes at 90 we're above it, sometimes below it. With the 10%, sometimes above, sometimes below. But on average, 90% of the time we're working safe. So surely 90% of our conversations should be in, engaging with people and actually acknowledge them for all the good work they're doing. Because if they're working safely, they're doing everything we've asked of them. And if they're doing everything we've asked, then we have to say thank you. And we sin, tend to miss this one. And this goes into this consistency and trust we talked about in another clip. Of if we're consistent with people and we don't make safety about wearing the glasses and gloves and we actually see them when they're working right and we stop and acknowledge them for it, they'll carry on doing it. In fact, they'll strive to do it even better. It's just one of the six human needs. Yes, we need to deal with things at risk. We need to still deal with it. We can't put it to one side. <clears throat> but if we understand that we're actually going over to sincerely thank someone, it has to be sincerely as well in a congruent manner. We can't just run around thanking people. That most of the time they're working safe, so let's just praise them for that. And that will change our environment dramatically. And you know, when we're going out and doing our safety observation cards or near miss cards, or there's a whole host of different names for them at the moment. I like the ones called safety observation card because it gives the chance to acknowledge either the positive or the negative. It's just an observation. And we can actually use that system to acknowledge people more often and go and shake their hand and, and be straight with them and thank them. So it's an, important, it's an important system we use, it's an important document, and it also helps us track trends. So if you want to take safety seriously, or you want your guys to take safety seriously, then we have to, as a leadership level, start to take it seriously. If you like what we're saying on these clips, please follow us on the following channels or call us for further information. Thank you.